Hi, this is Milt Haynes. Today we're going to talk about Windows Media Encoder, a nice tool to use to capture screenshots. Why use Windows Media Encoder? Well, first of all, it's free. I like free products. And also, it's good to capture your screen so you can do training videos like I was doing this past weekend or sharing your screen with customers or developers so that they can make updates to web designs. I included three useful links to this presentation. The first link is the article where I found out about Windows Media Encoder. I just uh, Googled it, started going through to find some free software, and 10 were in this article. I picked one, but I'm sharing the article with you. There may be some others that you've used that you like even better. Feel free to share your comments with us at melt at blackstonegeek.org. Uh, also, I include an article for the media encoder to download it. And here's a how-to article on how to use it. I'm going to jump to it real quick just to walk you through the steps to do screen capturing. Here we find the Windows media encoder. I'll just pull it up. And what I want to do is capture the screen. I want the entire screen. And also, I like to do voiceovers. That's what I use for the training videos. So I click that, give it a name. I'm going to call this test. And this will create a WMV file. I want high quality. Say next, title is test. And that's it. I'm going to say begin capturing when I click finished. Okay. So now it's going to start recording. So you see I'm going through these three screens again. I'm going to toggle back to the encoder and say stop. And let's play the output file. Let's see what we captured. Okay, that's it. When you toggle back, it actually stops the recording. So that's why it kind of stopped me mid-sentence there. And um, and that's it. So here's my contact information. If you'd like to find out more about BDG Consulting Services and Milt Haynes. And enjoy the tool.